The original design for the pedestrian bridges over SH-114 were cast in place boxes. During construction, TxDOT approached Weber requesting to open the new express lanes under the bridge sooner than scheduled. At that point, the Weber field team enlisted the Weber engineering services team to come up with a new construction method to achieve this goal. There were several options considered, but with the help of engineering services, Decon, our third-party engineer, and Mammut, a heavy lift contractor, we decided the best option was to cast the beams off-site and move them into place. After several brainstorm meetings, we sent our initial construction proposal uh, in order to prefabricate these four girders on the top of the existing new bridge and move the girders laterally or skidding with the special equipment until the final position. A few weeks later, the project team with a new construction schedule decided to move the precast process from the top of the existing new bridge to a new uh, area near to the job site. This option had many benefits to TxDOT, Weber, and the traveling public. First, TxDOT was able to open the express lane eight months sooner than scheduled. Second, Weber was able to eliminate fall hazards by casting on the ground versus 20 feet in the air over live traffic. Third, Weber was able to build all four box beams simultaneously because we were not limited by space. Lastly, the number of lane closures was drastically reduced, reducing the impact to the traveling public. Overall, this method provided a much safer and faster option. After this method was chosen and approved conceptually by TxDOT, the design team with assistance from operations worked on final drawings and calculations. Our work was the development and coordination of the different design and construction teams, the structural and geotechnical design, forms, a uh, post tension system, and of course the, the, the movement with special, very special equipment. Due to the unique shape of these beams and their massive weight, it took a lot of coordination. Engineering services and DECON needed to reduce the weight of the beams while maintaining structural integrity and constructability. This was achieved by using high density foam for internal diaphragms, post tensioning cables, and optimizing the rebar. MAMU was heavily involved in the engineering of the lift and movement to ensure the beam's integrity throughout the movement. This project has been going on for more than two years, and more than 170,000 man hours have been worked without a single OSHA recordable injury. I believe the biggest reason for this is the culture we have built of always planning our work to be safe. We have full buy-in all the way up and down the team. This design change is an example of ways engineering can be used in the planning phase to reduce or eliminate hazards. The most challenging part of this project was design change and coordination. The amount of detail, number of people involved, and complexity of the structure were like nothing I've worked on before. All of the hard work by many people during the design phase paid off during construction. We were able to build all four beams in three months when the original plan was six months.